Hey, uh, so it's a beautiful day in Philly today, but I am indoors, as you can see, and I'm indoors because I have this, which is a Japanese Taisho Goto. It's sort of like a mountain dulcimer kind of instrument. Uh, I've had it for about two years, and for some reason I never sampled it, and then today I got it into my head that I really need to make a contact instrument out of this thing. Um, before I do, uh, let me do a little show and tell because it's really a cool instrument. It has a very unique sound. Um, yeah, let's take a look. The Nagoya harp is a Japanese instrument. It was invented in the first half of the 20th century. It's kind of like a cross between a mountain dulcimer and a typewriter. It has five strings, all of which are tuned to the same note, G, although they're actually tuned to different octaves. And it has these little keys with numbers on them. When you press down on a button, the button mechanism presses down on these little frets, and that's how you get different notes. It also has a drone string, a string that's tuned two octaves below the high strings, and no matter what note you're playing, the drone string always plays G. I found this one in a thrift store. I think it's from the 30s or 40s. It came in a neat little box with a manual, and the manual has little songs that you can play. It sounds sort of charming, but its intonation is so terrible that it's pretty much unusable as an instrument. Because of the tuning issues, in order to sample it, I had to isolate each string and record it separately, which took forever. So this is the recording setup I came up with. I've got a Zoom H4 recorder and I've got an Octava mic. And if you look here, I've got a little piezo mic. Uh, this is a different kind of mic. It's not a condenser mic. It's a, a contact mic. And it actually sounds pretty terrible, but I'm hoping that if I blend it with uh, the other two mics that actually sound really good, uh, it'll provide some warmth to the sound. Because one good thing about contact mics is they tend to be a little bit bassy. So uh, I'm going to give this a shot. I've, as you can see, I've attached it using masking tape. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I've um, tuned the Taisho Goto. All of the strings on the Taisho Goto are tuned to G, just different octaves. So there's the top three Gs, then there's a middle G, and then there's a low G. Okay, time to get started. Okay, so here's what the final finished uh, Nagoya harp contact instrument looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's got a, a nice UI with the photo of the instrument. So, since the strings were recorded separately, you can actually choose which of the strings you uh, are playing. So, here's just the middle string. And then if you add in the high string. And then if you just want to hear the high string. And then, if you want, you can add in that drone string. Here's what that sounds like. If you want, you can tune that drone string down. So like, let's say you wanted it to be a C, you could tune it down to a C. Well, C is seven semitones below the G and... Most likely you'll probably want to keep this off, but uh, it's there for authenticity. Also for authenticity is these key press options. Uh, the key press options uh, include the uh, sounds of these little buttons being uh, pressed down. Um, and I've recorded four round robins of each of them. So uh, yeah, it, it shouldn't sound stale at all. I'm gonna turn them up so you can hear them. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna turn them down a bit. Uh, and we can turn some. There are also uh, mic level um, adjusters. So uh, if you want to, uh, I don't know, boost the volume of the piezo microphone, for example, uh, here's what that would sound like. I'm gonna play with it as I play. And of course there are ADSR controls on a second tab here, and uh, also uh, 
a reverb. Uh, there's a convolution reverb that I picked to go with this Nagoya harp instrument. Um, yeah, you can turn it all the way off or, you know, set your level. So I've come up with a little uh, piece of music that kind of showcases some of the different ways that this instrument can be used. So let's start uh, with this channel here on the left. Um, the low middle string, which sounds like this. All of the strings, by the way, are uh, sampled with multiple velocity layers and with uh, four round robins each. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next track. Uh, and we've got um, both strings enabled for this one. So here's what that sounds like. And then here we've got a channel where we've just got the drone going. So you can see the drone is the only thing going. And what does that sound like? And then finally, we've got a track here that has the middle and the high strings enabled, um, but uh, I've screwed with the uh, attack and the sustain so that it's kind of more like a pad. Almost sounds like an organ, even though obviously it's only uh, plucked uh, Nagoya harp samples. So together, they all sound like this. So yeah, that's the instrument. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've been using it a bunch in my stuff. Um, unlike a lot of my instruments, this one is actually uh, a commercial product. I'm charging $10 for it. Uh, I'm gonna be raising that price pretty soon. Um, yeah, it took me a long time to do it, so that's why. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it's cool. Um, yeah, enjoy.